Hi, I'm George, and this is how to change background color on Photoshop from this to that, even to that. Anything you want, it's up to you. And if you like this video, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos in the future. Okay, first thing I'm going to be doing here is just to remove all this stuff that I have in here. I'm just going to trash all of that. There we go. We're now back to the original photograph. Our first step is to make a copy of this. I always do this just to be safe. I don't actually ruin anything. So I'm going to right click here where it says background and let's do a duplicate layer. Choose OK and I'll hide the original. That's my safety layer just in case I can always go back to this. Now we need to separate the background out from a foreground subject and that will allow us then to change that background. Now you can use any technique you want to to separate out the background. I'll just do a fast one here for this video. I'll grab the lasso tool right here. Let's just do a quick lasso right around our subject just like this. I'm not really taking any time on this one. We'll do this real fast. The more time you spend on this one step, the better the results are going to be. You can pick your favorite technique to separate the background out. Now, we did our fast lasso. Let's go up here where it says select and mask. We'll use this and hit the R key for the refined edge brush tool. Now I have mine with a red overlay in here. That's up here under properties. I'm using the overlay option. It's just the easiest one to see. See, there's my brush size. If your brush size is wrong, you can change that right up here. I'll leave mine at that 50 pixels. This should work out just fine for us. There we go. Everything else can stay the same, but I'll click on Smart Radius and let's just give this a one pixel in there just for a little bit of help. Everything else I'll leave alone. Now with this, come in and just brush right in here, right over that edge, and then let Photoshop go in and figure that out. It goes back, it checks everything, and it tries to find a really good clean edge on that. And I like to work in just little short moves like this. It seems to work out best. And then just take your time and go around the whole figure. Now we have things like this that are inside quite a ways. We'll do a couple of pushes on that. I'll just push in like this, and I'll push in again. And then we can extend that up right there. Okay, that looks good. Let's now go to the other side. Right around the top up here, and then over there. And just continue working right around until you get the whole image selected this way. Clean up all those edges, that's fine. And right down here. Again, the same concept is the same for all of your images. It really is a matter of how much time you want to spend making a really careful layer mask in here. This will determine the final output quality. Again, this is just a fast one, just for this video. Take your time on this step and do the best job that you can. I think a little bit right up in there might be nice as well, right there. Okay, so that's good. Let's now come over here and at the bottom where it says Output 2, let's change this to New Layer with Layer Mask and choose OK. There we go. There's the background removed. At this point, we could put anything else we want into that background. So come down here, just below that layer, make a new layer at this point. Here's our new layer. And we'll just put in a gradient back here. So go over here to the gradient tool, and that's right down here. And here we go. Now the easy way to use this is just to click right in that gradient, and that brings up the gradient editor. Here's a floating window. Much easier to work with it this way. We'll go over here to our blues, and let's just find some kind of a nice bluish color in here. I think that one right there is kind of nice. We're doing gradient type solid in here. Choose OK. You have several options. I'm just using the first one here. This is just a linear gradient. And I can then click over here and then pull down diagonally like that. Let go. And that gives me that nice linear gradient. There's our background color change. Let's do one more of these. Same thing. Go over here. Click on that new layer button. Puts a new layer right here. Back up to our gradient tool again. Click on the gradient. And that brings up the editor right here. Let's go down to purples this time, and we'll find something kind of fun in here. Let's take that one. It's not really purple, but there we go. And I'll do the same thing. I'll just pull a diagonal gradient just like that. Or you can go the other direction. Yeah, anything you want to in here to change your background color. You even can use one of these different options. Here's a radial gradient. That's kind of a fun one. I'll just do it like this. There we go. A little bit of a highlight up here at the top. I think that looks pretty good. So there we go. If you like this video, hit that like button, click on share, click on subscribe, check out my channel for a bunch more Photoshop videos, and I'll see you next time.